Yo, what is going on guys? It's Infinity Yuja. Sorry I haven't made a video in forever. I have been working on the F-16 challenge, which is literally the hardest challenge ever attempted in Ace Combat history, or just flight game history in general. I'm doing every single F-16, every single flight game on the hardest mode, uh, well, almost every arcade flight game, and then basically become king of the F-16s, all that good stuff. So make sure you tune into that. And I'm going to be making history in the flight game community. But anyway, so I'm pretty sure you're here because you want to make skins. Uh, pretty easy. So what we're going to do, uh, I know you just saw me going to the data viewer mode. So that's going to be step number one. We want to go here. And then I'm just going to turn my textures off right now. Um, so first of all, we're going to go to the first skin. Um, because you do want that join assault filter on it. So we're just going to come out of full screen. The second step is we're going to go to control mapping. I'm going to go all the way down and we're going to go to texture dumping, texture replacement. Make sure you set those keys and then make sure you remember that. So dumping is D, replacement is F, cool, go back. And so we're just going to go right here make sure you get rid of the displays or else you're going to get a whole bunch of textures that you don't want. So next we're going to hit D for the dump. I forgot to click it, D for dump. I'm gonna press it twice to make sure that it doesn't keep on saving textures afterwards and you get a whole bunch of textures in your textures folder. Go back and then we're gonna go to the skin slot that you wanna replace. So let's just say you wanna replace this one, right? I'm gonna go here, dump, and then there is three instances of textures that we have to delete. So I'm just gonna hit the speed up. Campaign. I would suggest going to Ace of Aces because there's no uh, map on the text or there's no texture on the map beside the water. So it makes it a little bit easier to navigate through the menu in your file explorer. So we're gonna go to the texture again right here. Dump, dump. All right, so we're gonna go right here. And then little speed up, dump and dump. And make sure that the last message is disabled because mine's been enabled a couple times. Make sure yours is disabled. So I'm going to go right here, quit mission, space bar. I'm going to go all the way back to data viewer. We're going to go back to the skin that we want to replace, which is right here. Turn off the speed up. So we're going to keep this open and let's say you want to find your files, right? So we're going to go here. Open memory stick, it'll take you right to it. Gonna go to PSP, textures, and you're gonna find the code of your game right there. And then you're gonna hit new, and all your new save textures will be in here. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna find the F16 that we just saved, which should be right in here somewhere. That's gonna be skin one. And if you wanna make it a little easier, go to view, sort by, date. So we're gonna go back. And it appears to be this one. So I'm going to right click, open with, GIMP, and we're going to go to channels, turn off the alpha, and there's your beautiful skin. So you're going to make sure that's 512 by 512. Make sure it's that skin, which that one should be in the data viewer one. That should be the highest quality skin that you can work on. So we're just going to go to layers. And then you're going to hit right click new from visible we're gonna go here I mean, I got so much stuff open all right anyway so right here uh, let's just grab some kind of logo to put in here right so I got a whole bunch of logos from whatever so let's grab the team SW logo from lethal skies just gonna kind of minimize it and then the thing about join us all textures that you need to know let's say you're doing emblems or whatever like this make sure that you hit the mirror tool and reverse it. it looks, it's gonna look a little bit weird, but that's okay. You do want it to look a little bit weird because it will turn out right in the game because the texture, it is actually reversed funny enough. So I'm gonna go right here. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I meant to control C, control V that. And then we're just gonna select. Actually, uh, we're gonna rotate it again like so. Oops, didn't hit the rotate. There we go, now it did. 180, drag it over. And again, make sure that it is backwards. 
And then now just for that little join assault look, that's what we extracted the first texture for. So now we're gonna go here and then we're gonna scroll all the way down, look for that first texture, we'll layer it over and that gives it kind of that join assault filter like that. So you can on off, on off. Let's say it's a little bit strong. Just turn your opacity down a little bit. Turn your opacity down or go to contrast. Just kind of play with it like that. Play with the brightness of it, all that kind of thing. I'm just kind of balance it kind of like that. So now that we did that, we're going to right click. New layer from visible. We're going to uncheck everything. Hit channels, turn this back on layers and turn your opacity way back down. So now we're going to go here, save as, and then make sure that you actually do have uh, somewhere we can remember that it is. So if you need to go back and edit something after you close out GIMP, you can. We're going to hit save. Now we're going to hit export as. Make sure it's a PNG. So let's just say test bed, right? So we're going to go here. We're going to go down to our new folder like that, our PSP folder. Uh, and if you don't know the directory, just go back here. Just kind of click back or, you know, just kind of look, look at where it is. So... Uh, and also make a folder for your mod so it's separate so this is where all your skins are going to be right so we're just going to hit export export and then if you need to know how to like edit and whatnot i have a video on that but anyway uh i'll link it so we're going to keep this open and the next thing we're going to do uh, we're going to go back to our textures and right here right, we're gonna go to new and then after we go to new we're gonna find it three times so we're gonna have one have one instance right here rename i'm gonna copy the name then we're gonna go back open up this and if you don't have this per se we're gonna go to file uh, we're gonna go to game settings Actually, not five. I'm gonna go straight to game settings. Sorry, my hard drive is lagging. Tools, developer tools. Oh, and then you're just gonna click this, and then it'll make one. So anyway, we're gonna go back, and then we're going to go back over here. So we're gonna go scroll or do whatever you want next. Control V. Then you're gonna do equals, and then your directory. Whoops, has to be accurate naming slash. And whatever you name the PNG file, PNG. Here's the important part: zero, zero. Change all the numbers in between. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fill those zeros. Make sure it's even right there. And then that's not. We're not done yet. We're gonna go to new, and we're gonna look for the other two instances. So we have one right here. I'm gonna scroll up. Keep going. And just look for the next instance of it and there's second instance control V and we can just copy this over and we'll change the zeros last should be one more instance of it and if there isn't that means that I missed one so we have one right here oh, there it is I'm just gonna copy and then control C control V change all the zeros and now we're gonna save all right so it's saved I'm gonna hit emulation reset speed up data viewer fighter plane and we're just going to go to our beautiful f16 go to the skin so it's this one right see how it, how it doesn't change you're just going to hit your texture replacement button and there it is as you can see you have the sw logo on there and it is facing the correct way except for that one 
And also, you know, it's just a trial and error type thing. So if you see that it's wrong like that, you don't like it. So you can just do this, keep it open. And then we're just gonna turn this off, turn off, I'm uh, oh, sorry, turn on everything again. I'm gonna look for the one that you don't like. And we're just gonna hit a mirror and place it where we like. It's about right, uh, about right here. And then again, new layer from visible. Uncheck everything below it. Turn down the opacity. Control E. Wait for it, wait for it. All right, F and F. And then it didn't change it, but you do see that it did swap it over here. So that was the wrong emblem, but the good thing is you can just swap it back around. And that's pretty much how you do it. It's not that difficult. Again, make sure to check out the F16 challenge, subscribe, and join the Discord, all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all later in the next video.